check out that flower bush across the street. Now I've mentioned a million times about how in the north of Armenia there's always a breeze. And if you look at the plants and the flowers, you'll see what I'm talking about. And that's pretty much every single day. I don't know if I... Just as you can find a new adventure and a new love after your first marriage, so can you find a new life in a foreign land. For me, for now, it's South America. My name is Lauren Lau, and this is my adventure in Grand Colombia. So those that come here and think that says marijuana, look again. It's marijuana, ale house. It's basically just a, a pub, a millennial club pub. And it's a chain. I showed you a couple years ago in the mall, a location there. This one's right on Bully Bar. Right next to right near La Fogata. You see those red flags flying? And just up the street and on the left is where I just had a beer. I had to stop and use the ATM. And this is a warm day. It's about 84 degrees. It's a little on the humid side. If it wasn't for the breeze, I'd be dying. But with the breeze, out walking is really not a problem. And that's uh, something I'm always trying to point out in the video, something people don't quite understand. They'll look on the internet and they'll see it gets to 84, 86 degrees sometimes. Now, of course, that's only for an hour or two during the day, and the rest of the day it's in the 70s. But they see that and they say, oh, it's hot. But when you have this kind of a breeze all the time, it's not hot. I'm walking around, and you can see it's a sunny day, and I don't have a drop of 
sweat or moisture anywhere. So I think that's kind of why it's important to actually visit a place because the internet just doesn't give you the actual feel of what goes on in a place. It doesn't show you the constant smiles or offers to help. Or of course, beautiful girls everywhere. <laughs> Endless places to sit outside. So I just had a comment on my last video. Uh, strolling to Olympica where I pointed out a few apartment buildings and the comment was and I understand it he says okay so we get it there's apartment buildings well I've been concentrating on apartment buildings and barrios places to live because I get so many questions about that. What's it like? What are the different neighborhoods like? What's it, what are the, like, the buildings like to live in? So, in this series that ends this weekend, actually. Now, some videos may go up afterwards, but as far as I'm concerned, the series ends. Season 7 is coming to an end after 40 videos. Season 8 begins. I'm actually start taping, videotaping tomorrow for Season 8. And it won't be Barrio apartment videos. So if you like the apartment videos, enjoy these. See it says for sale. Studio apartment, telephone. Remember that there's no real apartment buildings per se. They're all condominiums. They're all owned by somebody. And you rent it from the owner or from, a, from an agent. whole lot. Now just because they're for sale doesn't mean that somebody that owns one isn't willing to rent it out. And you get that a lot from people that are still working, mostly in Bogota, and they're renting out the place they plan to retire to. And they get the renter to pay the mortgage and when they're ready to retire, they've got a place free and clear, ready to move in. Look down the street. Notice all the greenery areas. There's no doubt about it, this is a beautiful area. A lot of beautiful buildings. So who wouldn't want to live in that house? Gorgeous house. Diamante. And look, you get your very own jungle. 
bamboo jungle. Look at all that bamboo. Very tropical. Yeah, I know. I saw it. I swear I got a bunch of perverts on this channel. Let's check this out. There's a little creek that runs down there. I'm sure they call it a river here, but back in upstate New York, we call it a creek. If you're from Alabama, you call it a crick. No, I'm not making fun of Alabama. That's what they call it. So I posted on Facebook an apartment in these buildings. Three bedroom, two bathroom, pretty huge. Uh, marble countertops, really nice. And it was uh, 1,100,000 pesos, which is what? $400? $400 maybe? They're building another one there, and uh, beautiful apartments. I think some of the best apartments in the city. There's a uh, few that are more expensive, but I don't think there's any that are better. Now if you go up this road, you're going to come to Container City on the right. And if you go down here, which is Kalima, is where you'll find the, um, the home center. I did a video on that uh, a month or two ago. Seriously, how gorgeous is this place? I love it. You get a barber shop? Yeah, pizza and pasta? you're wondering what the speed limit is. Trienta. 30. Look, we're gonna go around the curve. <laughs> These signs, they crack me up. I mean, why bother, right? I'm gonna call this a bamboo jungle or a bamboo forest. All I know is it's huge. First look, I thought there were snakes. reason I walked down this direction. This is a happening place. As you can
can see. Very nice building. But it has a whole bunch of, uh, I said a whole bunch, I haven't counted. I think three, four, five popular restaurants there. So let's go check it out. Let's see. First one is a bakery, cafe. Fresh bread today. Oh look, it's got a bar too. Very interesting. Mm. Oh, look at those desserts. Cafe, bar, appetizers. You gotta love this one. Mr. Pork. According to their sign, they got a ton of desserts. In case you were wondering the name of this building. Cafe Wave. Wave. Coffee and Bakery. Nice well marked bike path. Don't see them painted up like this very often. This may have been done actually by the building itself. But look, they have their own little park area. Nice and gated to keep the riffraff out. I'll tell you, it's a great life if you can get it. the province police headquarters, Departmento de Policia Indio. But you also, if you look over there, you have the National Police, which makes sense. You see this building right here, this small building, Sala de Ventas. It's the uh, room for sale. And on the right, it's the name of the building. So, this building that's going up, that's the sales office, so you can buy your own uh, condominium. There's another one of those buildings I was talking about. I didn't mention, but inside is a model of the apartments themselves. So they take one and, and uh, do it up so that you can actually visualize when they're doing construction. Now this one is almost completed, but there's a bunch of people already living in it. So it's actually functioning. And now we finally made it to the Kalima shopping mall down there on the right and the home center. 
again where I did the video not so long ago. It's quite the walk, a few miles probably. But actually if I go to the right and walk up that way, it's not that far from where I live. I could walk to this mall in probably 15, 20 minutes. So that puts me within 20 minutes of three malls. How's that for a landscape? Beautiful. Oncology facility. Glad I don't need that kind of thing anymore. Cardiovascular. Right across the street. So if you find out you got cancer and you have a heart attack, you're all set. Super Inter, Supermercado. There's a few of these around the city. I haven't been in one in almost 20 years, maybe 17 years. Uh, not for any particular reason, it's just the, they're always a little out of the way for me. And I won't go in today because you have to be kind of covert. Nobody wants uh, you doing videos. They're just paranoid that you know, you're casing the joint and checking out where the security is. We went by the police uh, station just a bit ago. I had several police come and tell me no videos. And right here, nestled next to the mall, is this uh, little community of two stories, your townhouses, with security. You can see the name there. So that white building there, that's the mall. And if you look behind it, you'll see a gray and brick building. There's actually two buildings there. And two years ago, I looked at an apartment there, did a video on it. Uh, the apartment was about uh, $300. It has its own private entrance into the mall. Uh, it's pretty cool, but uh, the apartment was really, really small. And we finally made it to Kalima Mall. That's the parking garage. And La Catorce, another shopping supermarket. Down there is the uh, home center. You've got to know home center. If you move to Colombia, you gotta you gotta go to the home center. All the things you go, where is this? Where is this? It's going to be at the home center. Again, these views. Now, I was in Ecuador, and the views were stunning. I must admit, absolutely gorgeous. In some ways, certainly is equal, but it's different. Why is it different? Because in Ecuador, six months of the year, you have drought problems. You have a lot of uh, fires, you know, like forest fires because it gets so dry. Then the other six months of the year is raining, you get a lot of mudslides. Here, it's pretty much steady the same year round. It's always green, and you never see it brown. Now you may get mudslides in a particularly tough uh, storm, but it's, it's, not a, it's not a thing here like in, in Ecuador. So, well, the same Andes Mountains, there's a difference. It's, it's just here, it's just lush. Okay, enough gushing. All you Ecuador people are gonna hate me for that. But it's true. Of course, we've been here before. You wanna see more? go back a month or so, two months ago, and you'll find the video of Kalima. When you're done shopping, you can go across the street and grab a burger. Okay, that's it for today. Huh. Tired of walking. <laughs>